please, if you're waiting for some light to go on in there or something to tell you to get out, some sign. Your sign is on the sidewalk. Look out the windows. You know, we've done this so many times. We've got so many people that are actually in my church now. I believe in Savannah's church and other people's churches around that have adopted them and taken them in, taking care of their needs. Please. You guys going to leave, sir? Come on, man. Who are you talking to? Oh, okay. I thought it was that other girl. New couple. A new lady. Be careful, kid. Well, ladies, please. This is how God works. We see it on a daily basis. Please, it's his word. Don't harden your heart. You know, again, you're going to be guilty if you go through with this today of murdering your own baby. And you know, one day, you will meet that baby at the throne. And you will stand there with his blood on your hands and him accusing you before God. And what are you going to say? Come on, man. Come on, man. You guys can do it. Ladies, please, what are you going to say to him? Do you really think there's some magic potion that you can sit in there now and say, forgive me for what I'm about to do? Who do you think God is? You know, the Bible tells us that God made him who knew no sin, sin, that we might have the righteousness of God. And if God poured out his total hatred, That's him. wrath and anger, That's the only hope, that he'll open your eyes and grant you repentance, which is a fancy word that means to turn around and turn to him.